Yo. <clears throat> Welcome back to An Arch Demon's Dilemma How to Love Your Elf Bride Anime Review Episode Number 8. We are here reviewing the penultimate episode of the season. Excuse me. It is still apparently angelic nice due to Slave Wicked Peace. Peg left off last time, where, of course, Raphael is. Same for four, is like. Well, the fact that it was really, yeah, he killed her father, but technically, no. The way he described this, apparently, he got. He offered him to basically just, well, get his power, because he was dying. And, of course, the gun comes back, and then Zargon and Chastiel proceeds to destroy the damn thing. And, of course, well, that wraps up that point. And Barbados doesn't do anything at all, so. Basically, uh, Raphael proceeds to tie up a loose end, and he'll be back later for, and of course, uh, Forg have his head when he, when he ties this loose end. So, it's revealed the person responsible for poisoning Chastile was the Cardinal all along. All because the guy is a zealot. So Raphael, probably suspected this, breaks down the church door, chops on his hand because, oh, because they're off of poison. And then he proceeds to kill him. And then he basically, you know, well, it's showing a flashback. He basically raffed that, went straight to Zargon's castle, and offered himself to four, and he became Zargon's servant. Basically, his new butler, which is available later when Chastia figures out, oh yeah, the Cardinal was responsible for everything. So she's basically surprised about it. And the fact we have a, a sacred sword nearby. He has retired as the commander of the Hegelic Knights. And Chastiel proceeds to go back to the Order after having tea. Oh yeah, nearly spilled Nafi's tea. And of course, apparently it was made by four. And then it was said, oh yeah, apparently Raphael made the tea. And apparently it's a good cook too. And he's like, oh yeah, you could chop by any time because you're Nafi's best friend. Yep, so... You think by the end of this episode, like, and looks like by the end of it, it seems like, though, that, oh, we have Zargon and Nephi about to, like, kiss, and they hug, and, of course, Raphael being basically the adult covers up Nephi's eye. Nephi, it was Four's eye. It was so funny. Also, before this, uh, because he lost his arm, she gives him, basically, his armor, like, a piece of her armor to basically substitute for his arm, and he happily accepts this. Now he's got two hands. One is organic. The other is basically metal. Basically what she gave him. What was an artificial limb. Which uh, appearance wise. Basically way it's like that. It might be a lot of basically the one that. Um, um, Hydma has from uh, Afria. Very similar. A metal arm because he lost his arm. <clears throat> the thing is he's not a main. He's not like the main star character of the series. Well. He comes basically Zargon's butler and ends a very happy note. You would think the way this episode is presented that, oh, that's pretty much the whole entire season right there. Nope, we have one more left. Now, I don't know why this did not come out last week. It was baffling to me. Like, everything else got released last week, but this very episode. But now, basically, what I would do next one, I got a stream to do. I may have time to do the very next one. I it, it, It's a big maybe. So, I'll see you all later for that. So, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit this like button. Okay, next video. Bye.